So for number three, we need to cross multiply. And what is 14 times four? Let's see, 14 times four, 56. Let's see if I can fit it here. So 56x is equal to, and when I distribute the 35, it goes to the one x and the three. So we have 35x, and then 35 times three is 105. And then we want to subtract 35 on both sides. So we have 56 minus 35, 21x. And 21x, if I take 105 divided by 21, it is divisible. How many? Five. Boom. Now let's go to number seven. So on number seven, we're looking for A and C. So to find C, we know my sides are proportional, right? So we have five over four is equal to nine over C. And I'm gonna cross multiply using the calculator. Four times nine divided by five, 7.2. So C is equal to 7.2. And then I need to find A. For A, can I do the following? Can I do five over seven is equal to four over A? So you're telling me this triangle is similar to this trapezoid? Absolutely not. So I will redraw the triangles. Here's one, and here's a bigger one. Then I have five, um, and then seven, nine, because four plus five, and A. And for the A, I'm gonna use N, because my A looks like a nine. Now we have triangle is similar to, to, to a triangle. Do we all see that? It sounds like it's right when I do five to seven to four to eight, but you're making up math. So we have five over seven is equal to nine over X. And then I'm gonna cross multiply. Nine times seven divided by five gives me 12.6. There we go. If you're ready to move on, give me a thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go to number 10. On number 10, as long as I have an angle bisector, what shape can I use? What was the, sh uh, the shape that I used? The heart, very good. So this is equal, I mean, this over this is equal to that over that. So we have four over five or 15 is equal to x over 22. And then let's use our calc. It's gonna give us some ugly decimal. Let's convert this to a fraction, 88 over 15. Boom. Okay, the next page, number 11. Number 11. Oops. So 11 is asking us to find the scale factor. So if I were to do eight over 20, let's do eight over 20. And I think I'm gonna use my calculator to simplify this fraction. It's gonna give me 2 fifth. So here's the idea. If my end result is small, it is two fifth, or if my end result is bigger, it is five over two. Now for this one, I didn't really tell you which one is the final, so let's by norm go from left to right. So from left to right, the right being the end result, is it smaller or bigger? Bigger, bigger so I'm gonna take five, five half. Okay, part B, Renee, let's read. If the perimeter of the larger triangle is 90 meters, find the perimeter of the smaller triangle. So we're going from large to small. So I'm going to take 90, take my smaller fraction, multiply by that. It's going to give us um, 90 times 2 fifth 
We're anticipating it to be smaller and is 36 smaller than 90? Yep. Here's what else you can do. If you're like, well, I don't know when to multiply. You can do eight over 20 is equal to X over 90. It'll still work out, okay? And then our last one, number 13. Oh, let me bring it up a little bit. Okay, Daniel, let's read number 13. The corresponding size of two similar polygons with 10 centimeters and 25 centimeters. If the area of the smaller polygon is 48 centimeters squared on the area of the larger polygon. So let's go ahead and put in the ratio for this one. We have 10 centimeters to 25 centimeters. And I can simplify that too. Two centimeters to five centimeters, right? But let's look at our final goal. My final goal is to find the area of the larger one. If I want the area, what must I do to the two centimeters and five centimeters? Square it. Square it. So if I square the two, I get four centimeters squared. If I square the five, I get 25 centimeters squared. So I now know I have four over 25. What is given is a smaller polygon is 48. That's gonna go on the top. Because four is smaller than 25. Smaller one's given, and I'm looking for the larger one. Let's cross multiply. So that will give us 300 centimeters squared. That's 300, by the way. 